darkness. Something every person in this broken world has in common. The only thing that keeps us from God. Some of us deny it, but we all have our own darkness. And the only thing keeping us from eternal death is God's mercy. But we still distort him, run from him, and use him even. Fewer still actually receive him as their savior. I've gone to church every week for as long as I can remember. Although I've learned a few things about God, the devil, heaven, and hell, I've learned even more about how they are truly represented in this world. Angels and demons exist. The battle between good and evil is very real. The role of the church in my life started when I was young, and this whole affair would serve me well in the years to come. So, John, what did you think about church today? Pretty interesting, huh? Yeah, I guess. What do you mean you guess? So how do you like the service instead of going to your class? I think it's okay, but everybody is too nice. That doesn't seem to be such a bad thing, though. Every one of us can do it with being a touch nicer to one another, don't you think? I mean everybody is playing nice. Uh, what do you mean by that? Everybody's not really nice, they're just playing nice. Well, sometimes people are just having a bad day, and they act nice. But isn't that wrong? Shouldn't they act the way they are? What if someone doesn't know they're sad and makes them even more sad? Well, sometimes you don't know. That's why it's so important for you to be nice, especially when you're angry. The way you act oftentimes affects other people. Do you understand? I had family and friends, but I was lonely. That's how I grew up. Loneliness is a choice. I even had an adopted brother that I got along with and loved, and yet I was still missing something, which can be a very dangerous state of mind. But the outcome of foolishness ultimately leads to pain. So, there's an opportunity for a missions trip this summer at church. The youth group's going to be going. What do you guys think about that? Sounds like a good learning opportunity. I'm not interested in going to some third world country to hand out water bottles and Bibles. Well, there are plenty of positions available here at our church. If you want to serve here, they'll take you, I'm sure. Why do I have to serve at all? Will I not get to heaven if I don't serve? Uh, that's not what we're saying. You've heard the Gospels your whole life, and there are so many people who haven't heard them at all. You should want to go and share the truth with them, the truth of the Scriptures. That's part of being a believer. But I believe in God and Jesus and everything in the Bible, and, but there's already so many missionaries and evangelists out there. Why do I have to do that? We're not asking you to change the world all by yourself, son. We just want you to live for God. It's the least any of us can do for the sacrifice that he made for us. Come on, Matthew. Let's clean up these dishes. Okay. We love you, son. As I began to embrace my voluntary loneliness, I searched for something or somebody that could emphasize with me. I was angry without cause and rebellious without reason. There was no part of my life that there was a source of my problems. I was foolish and my sense of adventure drove me to the wrong crowd. some guys that are with me. Hey, anyway, uh, you want to have a little fun? I know a good place that we can make some dough really fast. Oh man, you know I'm not into that anymore. Come on, John, it'll only take a minute. Hello, guys. Where are you guys running from? 
Oh, just said no. Hey, hold up. <laughs> needs me in Virginia, and I'm not quite sure when I'm going to be back. I need you to be the man of the house. I need you to look out for the family. Can you promise me that you won't get in any more further trouble? I promise. Okay. Good. You can go to bed. I had finally found my place. I felt like I belonged here. I would never give this up. As I spent more and more time with my new friends, I found it to be hard on me though. I had to lie every day to avoid getting caught. My family never met them. I introduced Matthew, but him and Danny didn't really get along. We were pals, but there was something about them that felt off. As if there was no true bond. Although I had someone to share my pain, I felt lonely. Because of that, I would make a very regretful decision. dinner. So John, what have you been up to today? Nothing interesting. Just walk around a little bit. It was more than a little bit. You were gone all afternoon. I mean, I had to help mom make dinner. Where were you? Just wandering. Why do you care? I just want to make sure you're okay, John. Yes, I'm fine. Hey, can I sleep in your room tonight? Whatever. Fine. I was already growing to despise my brother, but what made it worse was that he converted. He too was now against me, like everybody else. So you didn't want to do the altar call? It's not necessary. I know I'm a Christian, but that's the point of doing that little stuff. Well, it's a hard issue. I mean, some people just go up there to make it all public, but God's looking at your heart, and that's really what matters. I'm here for you, bro. Well, I don't need your input, so leave me alone. Good night. I know. I know, honey. But it wasn't that bad, was it? Well, we have to do something. He doesn't have any friends. Just Matt. Okay, I'll see, but... Okay. All right, well, I'll pray about it tonight. Okay, I love you, honey. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye. I grew apart from my family. I still lived in their house and saw them daily, but we were no longer a real family. I felt hollow. Although I pretended to enjoy this life that I was living, in all honesty, it was completely joyless. In regards to this, I became a great liar. Of course, I still maintained that I was a Christian, but I was only lying to myself. I could keep my family just in touch enough to not inquire about my affairs too much. It was all simply so that I could try and run from myself. I could race heck with Danny and then take communion in church the next day, but there wasn't a real part of me in either of those lives. By being impartial, I inadvertently chose a side. But the thing about choosing a side is that no matter how long you can subscribe to follow that leader, you can always change. And the leader on the other side is unbelievably merciful and he was something that I needed in my life. The crazy thing is that he was right there the whole time. I was truly a fool for thinking that I could run from him. So I found out they were there, so we went to the shop to see if they were there, and they weren't, so we left. You guys didn't take anything without paying, did you? No. Look, I know I've gotten in trouble a few times in the past, and a lot of times in the past, but I've changed now. I'm, I'm different. As of yesterday? What do you mean? Just the fact that I saw you and your friends by Holly's house spray painting their walls? 
That was yesterday. So, obviously, I guess you have a very fresh change of heart. Why don't you just shut up, okay? I'm trying. Trying to do what? Get into more trouble? God has been calling you your whole life. Why can't you just answer him and live a clean life? Would you stop telling me about this God and Jesus stuff, okay? I'm tired of it. Hey, watch your tone. No, I don't care anymore. I'm done with God, and I'm done with all of you. Wait, where are you going? John, sit down. Right now. Sorry, I won't. TV, a shower, free Wi-Fi, and 24-hour service from the front desk should you have any questions. So just dial 1 if you need anything. And just in case, my name's Bryce. Thank you, Bryce. Yes, sir. Good day. If you need to talk about anything, I'm here. Man, what's up? <laughs> what's with the long face, man? Just nothing, man. Just got an argue with my brother. That's all. Yeah, you know, your brother's a little stuck up. I never really liked him, you know? Just, I just can't deal with him anymore, man. I gotta leave this. You know, honestly, I'm surprised you lasted this long. I would have left years ago. You know what? Guys like us, we don't need family. They're dead weight. You know what? We don't need them holding us back. You know what? I'll show you something. Look at this, man. Where did you get this? Y you worry too much. I met a guy, and I had a meeting with him, and he wants us to sell his product all over town. We get 40% of the cut, he gets the rest. You know what, dude, this is a good gig. So you're telling me you're trying to do this out of the kindness of your heart? Yeah, pretty much. What if we get arrested, or worse? Will you feel so happy about it then? Dude, just stop. You sound like my grandmother. I thought you would be happy about this. You know, would you just say okay? Maybe. You know what, I'll take that as a yes. No, take it as maybe, and probably no. You know what, you'll come around eventually and say yeah. Boys, come on, come on boys, come on. I just want to be left alone. I'm sorry, I just had a bad day. You, you look like a man who's hiding from himself. I don't mean to sound too weird or anything, but do you believe in God? Once. What about Jesus? Do you believe in him? I grew up going to church, so yeah. 
So you grew up in the church community, but now you reject them? That pretty much sums it up. Are you done? Why do you reject the church? Because it's all lies. Everybody there just talks about how good they are when they're there, but then the rest of the week they act just as bad as I do. Church is just a place where people meet to talk about how good they should be and how good other people should be when really they're just as bad as everybody else. I'm sick of it. It makes me sick to my stomach. I'm not going to deny that there are some people and even entire churches that do exactly what you just described, but not all of them are like that. Church can be a great place to fellowship with other believers and pray together. The mistake a lot of people make is equating their Christianity with going to church. You can't just be saved by going to a building and singing some worship songs. It's actually a lot easier than that. The gift of salvation is available to everyone. All you have to do is choose to receive it. Now, the important part about that is, if you truly accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, your life will be a reflection of that. God will give you a new heart with new desires. So true Christianity isn't just a religion. It's a way of life. Would you do something for me? What? They're showing a, a new song at church tonight. I can't go because I'm working, but I think you'd like it. I'll go for you, but not because I want to. Thanks. It means a lot. Church? Why? Two words. Money. What do you mean? Danny sent us. He wants to say you have until tonight to make your decision. Alright. Fine. I will. Come on, Homo Joe. Let's go. Silent nights when God came near to man. God in human. Can you come back? This is a one time thing, so don't get your hopes up. We all know how the story's told, replacing warmth with bitter cold and pain, subbing sun for rain. That this tiny babe in his mother's arms was sent to die suddenly that silent night is broken by a woman's cries a humble stable is blessed with life and a savior opens his eyes instead of the father's smiling face he has a peasant girl's embrace do we Realize what it cost to seek and save the lost. Is he just another baby boy or the cause for our eternal joy forever? Could he be our savior? Is he just another mouth to feed or the mouth that spoke? Eternity into motion, deserving our devotion. But do we realize that this tiny babe in his mother's arms was sent to die suddenly that silent night? Is broken by a woman's cries, a humble stable is blessed with life. And a savior opens his eyes, instead of the father's smiling face. He has a peasant girl's embrace, do we realize what it cost? To seek and save the lost, every year the story the starry nights and gifts of gold but do we really stop to understand eternal God became a man bowed his knees to the 
the Father's plan A perfect, willing, sacrificial lamb Suddenly that silent night Was broken by a woman's cry A humble stable was blessed with light and a savior opens his eyes Instead of the father's smiling face He has a peasant girl's embrace Do we realize what it cost To seek and save the Lord? Do we realize That this tiny baby in his mother's arms was set to die for us. Are you supposed to be like your dad? What do you expect me to do? I don't have any food. Go find your own. Come in. I'm in. I'm in. I went back to my family just so that they could tell me all this Jesus stuff again. And I'm done with that. I'm in. Really? Are you are you for sure? Yes. It's awesome, man. <laughs> man, I knew you'd come back. Alright, let's go do something. You know what? I'm just trying to no, finish let's my food. Let's go do something. Come on. Before. Dude! I'm trying to finish my food! Come on, let's go do before. Dude, what's wrong? Just at church, was it the song? We were worried about you. I can't stand it there. I thought it would be different, but you're still trying to convert me. That's why you left? I thought you wanted to come back, but you're just as selfish as before. Would you stop with all this selfish stuff, okay? I'm at least trying to do better. Why do you have to always be better than everyone else? I mean, we're always here for you. We sacrificed so much for you, and God sacrificed his life. But you don't even care. You. You act like love is nothing, but it's not. We love you, Don. Would you just leave me alone, okay? I can't. I love you. You know what? You heard what he said. Go! Danny, what are you doing? Stay out of this. You know what? I never really liked you anyway, Matt. You need to go before I make you. Matt, just go. But, Don, I, I can't. I, I can't lose you again. I've gone to church and I thought you'd changed. I, I believed that you'd changed. All you have to do is trust in God because He's there for you and He's better than any earthly thing. Come on, man, you don't really believe this crap, do you? Actually, I do. Put the gun down, Danny. I'm sorry. Will you forgive me? I already have. I love you, bro. I didn't mean what I said back at home. I, I know. We forgive you, son. You ready to come home? Yeah, but if you can just give me a minute. Yeah, we'll see you there. God, this is the first time I've talked to you in a while, and uh, 
I just want to say thank you for taking me back. I know I'm a sinner, but you sent your son down to this world to forgive all of our sins. So I thank you for that, and I ask that you would bring me back to you and forgive me for what I've done. Thank you for giving me the family that will take me back from where I was. That's it, I guess. Amen. Hey, Bryce. Thanks for uh, talking to me. I'm sorry for that. Don't mention it. I'm just trying to stay in tune with what God is telling me. If you ever need to talk anytime, I'm always here. Thanks, I like that. Hi everyone. My name is John Richards. Some of you may know me. I've been going to this church for as long as I can remember. I have very fond memories within these walls. I've grown up learning about God and of course I've learned most of it here, but also from my parents. I believed in everything I learned and also believed that going to church would set me free. I know now that that's not the case. You just can't buy your way to heaven. It just doesn't work that way. I was living a lie that kept on getting bigger and bigger. Recently I've been through some things that made me rethink what I believe. I've learned that you can't serve two masters. You just can't be lukewarm. I had to choose who I would follow and I chose God. The Lord has been calling me for such a long time now and I finally accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. The one thing I'd like to tell you all is this. Faking Christianity will only hurt you, so stop now while you have the chance. I have lied so much just so I could feel saved, so that I could think I'm going to heaven, but deep down I knew that there was something wrong. I was never satisfied with anything. I wanted to fit in with everyone, but trust me, it's just not worth it. There's no point in being in the middle. God created this world for a reason. His design is magnificent, and you can see that by looking around. The amazing part is that he only asks us for one thing, to follow him. See, people can lead you to God, but they can't save you. Only one thing can save you from yourself, and that is Jesus. I have been saved by his death, and that is all I need to believe in order to live. Let's pray. Oh God, thank you for saving me. Thank you for being who you are and the amazing So that's how it happened. How God was able to come through to me, even though I was rejecting him. I tried to run from him, but there is no place that God's presence does not reside. His love endures forever. Even when you think you've hit rock bottom, God is there to lift you up. There is nothing he can't do. And when you put that in perspective, there is no reason to push him back. He just wants to have a relationship with us, with you. I found my way out of the mess I was in, but now it's time for me to help others get saved by death. Been a long time. Yeah, I've been kind of busy. With what? Right. My life has become so much better thanks to you. Don't thank me. God is the one to thank. I was just purely a messenger. He has big plans, and this is only the beginning. Now, if you excuse me, I should probably get going. Will I ever see you again? Seeing me is of no importance. Just remember what I told you, then you'll see God working through us. Us?
I'm not in here. Um, I'm. Uh, no, just a minute. <laughs>